hip hop from the beginning was always a form of montage. It was finding things and making something new out of it. It wasn't finding things to make it sound like it sounded. It was finding something and changing it into something new. That's what was exciting about it. And the, this montage process is the basis of hip hop. And up until the time of It's Yours, we didn't really hear it on the records because people people still were making records using traditional methods, non-hip-hop methods. Oh my goodness. So much to be said in that one chunk right there. Uh, I'm going to start with this, uh, the one phrase he said here, uh, where it was always hip-hop, was always about finding things and making something new out of them. And when you take that in a kingdom perspective, I mean, that's what Jesus came to do. He came to find us and to make us into new creations. So that right there, there's that mirroring of the wisdom that it took, the partnership of man with God to, to enunciate a new sound upon the earth that would capture a generation. And uh, it's just, man, it's a model that's taken from the way that God interacts with the world, finding something and making it completely new, which is what he did with each of us. Uh, but uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the music portion first. And so, uh, man, what do you see in this, uh, what Rick was talking about? What really jumped out to you as he was kind of laying out the process of what it looked like for him to have the boldness and the courage to say, hey, I'm going to do something that's never been done before, take two genres that most of humanity couldn't see any place for synergy and connection and put it together, man, that just blew up. I mean, I'm, it's totally clear to me. I see him as like a, a prophet and a visionary. You know, he was given a vision. He was given something that he saw that other people couldn't see. And what is the job of a prophet and a visionary? They have to come and educate. And so oh. he was frust frustrated, but he had to come and educate the people to get them to see the vision that he was seeing and where the music was going. And um, it's it was a big job. It's a frustrating job because, you know, it's right here. It's right. Can't you see it? Can't you? It's his yeah. music, you know, but he had to educate people because it, they were to, to a lot of people. They were talking, yeah. you know, they were talking in time, in rhythm. So it wasn't music to them, you know. So, uh, you know, that's why he's still around. Rick Rubin is, is for all these decades later is because he's he's very gifted to see you know he saw what was coming what god released on the earth he picked it up and then he had to he had to uh, educate people to to open up to it and he was only one of them right. you know only one i'm not saying he's like the prophet of you know you know i'm just saying that he he saw something early on that you know and he helped yeah probably a lot of white people <laughs> uh, <laughs> facts you yeah. know what i'm saying which uh, which they needed that's such a good point, man. And I loved how you said uh, that he picked up what God had released on the earth. And, you know, one of the reasons that we do this show is to help people capture that God is, is no respecter of persons. When he's ready to release a new sound, something new upon the earth, he's going to release it. And sadly, most of us, you know, grew up in religious boxes. And so we've missed the blessings, the new revelations, the new innovation that God is releasing upon the earth. And so it was people outside of the church that had the permission, the... Uh, the ingenuity to grab it and produce it. And it's, it's our heart, you know, for, for us as believers to stop missing the opportunities and to begin to partner with the new things that God is doing on the earth. And so, man, as, mm. as a, a guy that was in the, the front of the hip hop movement from the very beginning, uh, what is it like to hear that conversation and what stood out to you? Uh, I have so much respect. Um, for Rick and, and what he did. Um, he's a part of my childhood, you know, when, you know, there's a movie he was in called Crush Groove that really set me off um, uh, and made me really understand that, that, that that's what I wanted to do, you know. Um, but there's always been an underlying um, sort of attitude from the system that they get to dictate to you what is and and what isn't, mm. and uh, nobody gets that 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 glory, but but God, you yeah. know, it, it it's what He made. You call it whatever you want, you know. Uh, uh, the subtleties of rap are that when you're rapping, you, there are notes within those bars 
that you must hit in order to establish a journey within the record. Those notes aren't sang in the same way as a traditional R&B song, but they're just as important. Come on. Yes. And so uh, to for anybody to tell you what it isn't just means that they don't know what it is. You know, uh, so, you know, but Rick was was super important in, with songs like uh, Walk This Way and helping yeah. uh, communities come together and understand the possibilities behind the music. Uh, and and we're, we're in a space and time where, where those things are becoming more prevalent, you know, uh, just like Fat Mike and I. You yeah. Know, um, that... No matter what we're doing, we're better doing it together. Come on, mm -hmm. you know. And so, uh, and this system, the one that we've been attached to for so long, has been guiding all the sheep a certain way. Mm -hmm. That we need to really kind of wake up and understand that we can only be what what's really possible together, and 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 quit um, um, looking at it as it's one, as it's our journey or or you guys' journey. It's just all one journey, and we're trying to figure out how to incorporate that um, so that we all can, can, can be happy and live and love and, and prosper and, you know, and glorify God's name. That's it's what it's all about, right? Let's yep. go, man. Sounds like the gospel to me, man. Hey. <laughs>